Hey, I'm Kieran Norton and welcome to the Kieran Norton channel on YouTube. Fancy clap. Um, yeah, so uh, like I've said and like everyone said, COVID's back. It's not as bad as it was originally, but it is, it is here. So the government in New South Wales, the state where I live, so they passed a law saying you have to wear a mask if you're in public outside. If you're not, it's a two hundred dollar on the spot fine, which, which is fair enough. I, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, we've got to stop this thing. Um, but some people, some people don't. I don't know if it's like a mental illness where people have to always rebel against uh, against things. Like they don't like being told what to do. It's like if the government passed a law saying um it is illegal to eat rat poison in public these people would start eating rat poison in public because it's their right to you know it's like just, so like the worst area for this is um bondi i mean no offense there are probably more good people in bondi than bad people but um like by bad people i mean morons but it's always the idiots who speak loud of and everyone you know and um uh, there's a lot of backpackers in Bondi as well, which I personally don't like. I mean, backpackers, for some reason, they think they're better than you. They think they're having this awesome holiday, but really the holiday is shit. Any holiday where you have to work to to survive, like to have enough money to keep going, is shit. You know, like, if I was to go on holidays to a foreign country, I wouldn't want to spend uh, many, many days outside train stations trying to sign people up to, to a charity, you know, then they go home and they like to their hostels and they sleep in a room with like 10 other people. It's like a, a really shitty school camp. Then you see them and like, they, they're real cocky. They strut around like they're king shit. Then you see them at a, like a really, really cheap Thai, um, Thai restaurant. And there's like five of them sharing like a green curry, like a, a like a $12, um, green curry. And they're like, Hey man, stop hogging the tofu. Leave some for the rest of us. You know, like, you know, when I'm on holidays, I like to live the fancy life. You know, stay in a hotel room by myself, eat a whole meal to myself. You know, but um, yeah, because Norman isn't, and it's not like so. Bondi is like a rich area, but I don't necessarily think it's rich people thinking they're better than everyone. Because Norman Beaches, which I class as a rich area. Um, they had a pretty bad outbreak and they got told to stay inside and wear masks and the people in the Northern Beach is like, yeah, fair enough, we have to do that. But people in Bondi are like, no, never! Um, they had like a um, anti-mask parade through the Westfields there, like the big shopping centre. It's just like a bunch of like losers just walking through, strutting and not wearing a mask. You know, it's like, that's like the saddest saddest protest that I've I can think of you know and I've encountered these people before COVID were around you know I, um I, I've, I've, I've experienced experienced a lot of these nutters at work like um my my former work um I'm pretty happy with my current employees so I'm not talking about that but my my previous employer has a, had a like a bad habit of hiring these like nutters these new age new age hippies i guess but to be fair old age hippies still annoy me as well but like um i don't know they, they just think they know better than you they, they think like they're the only ones them and their little group of friends are the only ones who can see like the truth and stuff you know um like uh, what was one of the, one of the conversations we had was like about flu right and then they only drink bottled water or water they collect from a spring which if you're going around collecting your own water from random rivers yeah yeah and, and enough said you know normal normal people don't do that but um so i worked with a certain person and they they um they refused to drink tap water because of the flu right and they also they they said a lot of crazy things like they one they said um you shouldn't go on holidays if you're going to go on holidays somewhere you should be doing something like charity work or something 
Um, another another thing. And they went on a lot, like a lot of like overseas trips. I don't know where they got the money from, but they've been like Europe and Asia, and so they've been all around the place. And now I guess they're ready to settle down. Now they're like campaign campaigning heaps about banning jet fuel, saying people don't need to travel overseas. But you know, it's like, well, if you've already travelled overseas, you got it out of your system. You also, um, this person was also against like doing fun things, like. Remember that they asked someone I worked with what would be your idea of a perfect day. And there was no segue. They just blurred out that random question. And the person, it sounded like an okay day. Goes, oh, you know, probably go to the movies in the morning, then play video games and maybe hang out with my friend. Then the per person, she's like, but what did that achieve? And the guy's like, I don't know, a good time. And she's like, yeah, but you didn't achieve anything. You didn't create anything. And we're like, what's your idea of a, of a perfect day? And they're like, oh, I get up at probably sunrise. Uh, I, I get all these grains and stuff and make like a month worth of food using these grains. It's like putting oats and dried fruits in jars. Then putting the names and dates of what days I should eat them. Then maybe clean the house. Then uh, maybe maybe make some jam. Clean the house again. Uh and they're just pretty much listed doing chores when and if someone's like, isn't that a boring day? And she's like, you, no, because I've achieved something. I've achieved something. But the craziest um, craziest thing this person's ever said was, I um, can't remember on the topic, but they reckon, she reckons um, people live longer in the medieval times. And I'm like, no, that's not true. People only live to like 30 or 40 if they're lucky. And she's like, where, where, where do you get that from? Where do you get your facts from? And I went, I don't know, books, history channel. And she's like, anyone could write books. You know, that's nothing special about books. Anyone can write them. And I went, where do you get your information from? And she's like, oh, the website, the internet. And I'm like, anyone could have a freaking website. It's easier to have a website than get a book published. And... And that's what I do. And I don't know if you ever had an argument with one of these, I call them crazy people, uh, these new age hippies. And when they're like backed in the corner with like knowledge and facts, they, 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 uh, their reaction, their self defense is kind of like to go on this massive rant. And um, so they like, if they keep ranting out words, it would like somehow push the truth away from their mind and won't let them get in. And, um, She's like, anyone can write books, you know, all, all religious books, like all around the world, every religion was written by one guy and one guy, they wrote all the books and it was designed to separate and make people judge each other. All religions was invented by one guy. He wrote it in a cave and they sent it out. He sent it out around the world to cause chaos. And one guy, he knew the truth and to cover it up, all the, all the joining governments to keep the little secret about religion started World War II. I, I don't know. World War One must have just... I don't know, caused World War One, but she went straight to World War Two. She said they started World War Two just to, to to distract people from 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 finding out the truth. You know what? But why why in World War Two was one religious group getting slaughtered, like being uh, treated worse than everyone else? You know, like the Holocaust. She's like, oh, it, like and she's a Holocaust denier. Um, I'm not. Um, I'm not even going to say the words that it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, she she pretty much said the uh, Holocaust doesn't exist. And then um, I can't remember what I said, and a couple other people joined in, and um, again with facts and knowledge, and um, we kind of shut this person down. But um, it's like a. It was like, uh, I've, I've I've seen this a few times because, like I said, work gets these crazy people. And it's almost like a glitch when, um, like, in a computer game. So, like, um, when God was, um, it, it's like it's like um, a computer game glitch where something's meant to happen, but it doesn't. You know, like in some video games where a character just starts running on the spot and you can't stop it. Um, so this glitch, when this when these people get, like, facts and knowledge and they've lost the argument 
instead of their mind processing saying, okay, I see your point, I was wrong. No, that's what the normal response is meant to be, but they got this glitch in their mind and it just results in them screaming like, yeah, yeah. And then I don't know what caused it. Like, so maybe like when, um, maybe it's like an evolutional thing. Like, you know, when monkeys get angry, they, they, they kind of like, oh, 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 and like they do that and they start throwing shit at each other and like they start screaming at each other. But like, so maybe like when humans evolved from apes, that that bit didn't uh, transfer out of some people and it's like this, um, primal glitch you know like a de-evolutionary glitch or when god was um or if you're a creationist instead of an evolutionist when god was creating humans um i think because god had a lot in his hands you know creating the universe and everything um he wasn't meant to he wasn't able to check everyone's dna properly before he sent him out to the world so like maybe one percent of people had this glitch where, again, when they're, when they're shown knowledge they, and facts and they've lost the argument, they just scream and they have this instinct to, to rebel against whatever um, the government wants to do. I mean, have you ever noticed that the, the people, the crazy people who always think the government's after them are always like the people with the most boringest lives, you know? It's like, you know... If someone walked up to me and was like, hey, Kieran, um, me and my friends, we, we robbed the bank, then um, we, as we were getting away, someone saw us take our masks off, so we had to shoot that person. Then greed kind of consumed us enough to shoot the people who I robbed the bank with so I could get 100% of the money. I think, I think the police are after me. And I went, yes, they probably are. You know, you committed a lot of crimes there. They're definitely after you. But no, it's never those people, you know. I know people who commit crimes, and I'm like, are you worried about the cops going after you? And they're like, ah, nah, they won't find me. No, the people who always think the cops are after them or they're, um, the, the government bugged their house with cameras and stuff, they're always people with the most boringest life. It's like, hey, Kieran, I, uh, I, think, I think the government's after me. And I went, why are they after you for, Josh? You know, you're a... Uh, 34 year old man who is an alcoholic who lives on top of a pub and has no money for anything because um he doesn't work full time and you don't work full time and you you drink a lot you know your diet is just cheap uh bakery bread you know you just eat white bread you have a diet of a freaking pigeon you know you like just eating bread the only reason the government will be watching you is to make themselves feel better about their own lives. You know, he's like a government agent. He'd be like, uh, I don't know, some, ever since that operation in uh, Afghanistan, I just haven't been right, you know. My, my wife left me and she took the kids. She, she said, I'm not the man she married. I, I'm the shelter the man she knows. Even My parents even said the same thing. They said, I'm not the... I'm not the kid they raised, you know, there's something seriously wrong with me. I, I can't sleep for more than two hours every night because I just wake up screaming in the cold sweat of all the horrors I've seen. Uh, I, I just don't know how much more I can take. The doctor subscribed to me these pills, but they're not working. I still see the faces of those children every night and it's really getting to me. But at least I'm not this guy living on top of the pub eating freaking bread what is he, a fucking pigeon? Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Um, uh, please press the like button, please subscribe, please tell me any stories about nutters you know, and if you're going out in public, please put your mask on. Kieran Dorton, out.